What up, everybody? It's this guy over Money Bumps. Uh, and right now, you got it locked with the illest lines. Well, first of all, man, I do want to say, man, I really appreciate you getting on here with me because just to be able to have somebody like sure. you on here, man, it's truly an honor. I appreciate that, man. The feeling is reciprocated, yeah, brother. Man. For, for man. real. Definitely. Absolutely. You know, I, I got to say, um, I first got introduced to you by my, my friend, Mike White Jr. Matter of fact, Dayton calls him E41. Uh, I don't know if he had a chance to <laughs> be The foundation. Yes, yeah. yeah, the foundation, man. Yes. Bro, knew of him for years and just met him in yeah. LA last month and uh, right. literally right. laughed at the E41 <laughs> for like three weeks straight after that. Yeah, like, that's I, right. <laughs> that, that's right. one of the funniest nicknames that. I've ever heard, bro. Yeah, man, because we, we actually all met when uh, me and and Foundation and a couple of other my, my friends, we opened up for um, for them at um, Oxnard with, with Vince, Outsiders. And man, it was it was such a wonderful time meeting them and everything. And, and you could just yeah. tell how, how down to earth they were and everything. But it was it was a nice, uh, you know, I guess you could say intro. You know, I was kind of hoping you'd be there, too. You know, we saw Boston and everybody. So it was like, OK, that's cool. Yeah. But yeah, so he was the one that actually introduced me to you, Mark James 2.0, man. I have, oh, man, wow. when, yes, most definitely. When I tell you that that whole entire thing, like I'm literally bumping it and that's, that's not, that's not even a play, you know, it, it oh, literally bumping it, it, that as well as, you know, Voss and Bizzle at the time, you know what I mean? And it was just something that I felt like it was refreshing to hear because, you know, I, I was pretty brand new to, you know, whatever CHH was coming out and I'm like, dude, this dude is fire, man. So I was like, okay, can't wait to hear what else is coming, man. And then, you know, Martyrs in the making, but then I'm like, you got, I thought you had more than two albums out. Um, so it was just Man vs. Machine and um, Pain and Paragraphs, right? So I guess, uh, I know like Cats used to, the, the words get mixed up these days right. and, you know, I remember, you know, a mixtape now is not what we used to call right. mixtapes that we, you know, right, we used to right. go to the record shops and like, yeah. anyway, so it's all, so, <clears throat> cause it was funny. I was laughing with my wife about this. I did an interview, a uh, radio interview uh, on Wednesday and uh -huh. he, when he was like, I'm, I'm, I know he met well, but he was like, yeah, go check him out. Man vs. Machine Pain and Paragraph. So I'm thinking like, <laughs> he don't know nothing about what I, I, I feel like my best work I just dropped right. last year was uh, Vince Sessions and uh, right, yes. it was an entire it was a free mixtape but a lot of the records oh, were original okay um, got you so we basically ended up you know i think we put like six of the uh six of the original five or six of the originals right. which are on streaming services but somewhere yeah. it seems like must have got like lost in the sauce but yeah oh, yeah, yeah that was the last yeah. project i did oh, okay um, but i guess traditional albums mm -hmm. yeah man vs machine was uh right, 2015 right. Right. Yeah. 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 Because I was looking at the uh, the albums, you know, before like pretty recently too, you know, and and you know, I did see Vent Sessions up there, but I was just saying in regards to like the actual full albums because I know that was like my five song EP, but even that, like, yeah. some, like get, get in five five songs, that's it, and, and get out, man. That, that was, it was yo. Great, that that whole thing was I want to say like sixteen or say it don't. Yeah. That record, man, I poured my heart and soul into it. Even yeah, like yeah. you know, not only from like production and writing but like even like a financial side like you know right. sought out like the top-notch engineers right. and you know that were within my grasp and luckily it got teamed up with the, with some some really good uh people yeah. and uh yeah so it almost bumps me out because like s still like there's so much music from that mixtape yeah. um or project whatever that mm -hmm. that i feel like cats are like that almost it just got slept on you know what i'm saying um right. because of like maybe the way it was rolled out or you know just possible. you know yeah yeah but man I, I i still hope that uh even with uh you know the the new stuff i have coming out which i should have quite a few projects i i hope that oh, it is you know reignites a little bit because right. i mean I, to me I, I dropped it in 2018 but it's it's still like you know, deserves a lot of, it's got a lot of life in it, I think, you know. Oh, I bet. I bet. I mean, and pretty much anything that you pour your heart into is, is going to continue to have life no matter what, you know what I mean? And really to, to the true heads, you know, people that are actually like constantly listening, waiting, you know what I mean? And, and sure. I think that's, that's definitely a lot of people when it comes to waiting to hear something from anyone from God over money, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, right, okay, right. I can't wait to see yeah. what they come out with next, you know? Um, one of my questions though, um, in regards to your journey in music, when would you say was the first moment that you actually got caught up in the in the love of music? Hmm. Man, so probably I would say I would say high school is when it was like, you know, 
I realized how like much of a role it played. Right. But I'll, I'll be honest, like even I could say post GOM, like mm -hmm. sometimes not, I want to say knock on me or, or like the, the thing is kind of like, you know, almost it, it could be seen as detrimental. Like music has never really been like, I never really had the, the opportunity to put it like number one, you know what I'm saying? Just because I've always, you know, try to put the, the family first and, you know, that's, and I've always had to work a, a full-time job, um, which is, you know, I'm not definitely not complaining about it, but you know what I'm saying? But I would say just collectively, like mm -hmm. as a listener, I would say definitely in, uh, in high school is when I was like, you know, almost like it was, you know, and I still use terms like this today, but like, I'm like, yo, that album saved my life. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. but like, you know, how as a, you said, as a music head, cause I, I mean, I might be pathetic compared to you. And even like, you know, cats, like one of my best friends, you know, Dayton, he, I would consider that's a music head and he yeah. makes me look like, I don't know nothing, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm shallow in a lot of views, you know, that cat will tell you the, who published a record off of Nas's yeah. studio mixtape in 94. Oh, wow. And I'm like, I ain't never been that way. So, right, right. um, yeah, yeah. That's funny. That kind of sounds like me. Down. Right. Right. That sounds kind of like how me, me same... and Mike are. Yeah. Cause I mean, he, I kind of am that way. I always used to like, pay attention to the liner notes. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to create this, this platform. Cause I'm like, you know, nowadays, you know, who reads liner notes, you know what I mean? So I want to dig into sure. like who created what, was there anyone, any guests, was it this, was it that anybody right for sure. writing, whatever, you know, but yeah, yeah. He, he's kind of like that too. But at the same time, I, I, I live for that pulling the albums out, you know what I mean? Of the album cover and everything and reading all the liner Absolutely. notes. Absolutely. Yeah. That was, that was always yeah. fun for me. Yeah. Most definitely. Bro, you know what's so dope? I've, I, even if, like, you know, someone as, as lukewarm as I would be, like, in comparison to you or Dayton, like, mm -hmm. you, I've never, like, I would say, take take that for granted. Like, that, cats, like, you are so necessary. And also, like, you know, I got close homies that are like that, where it's like, when you have somebody, like, that di dissects your your joint or, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, a song you did, it just is just like, yo, like, you know, as an artist, yeah. someone, it's like they're appreciating the art and it's foolish, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um so you get what I'm saying, as opposed oh, yeah. to like, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, it's, 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 it's super weird, man. <laughs> you never, <laughs> as an artist, you never can predict how people are going to react. So right. I'm like, what do I know at this point? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, but you know, it's a lot of it that I've noticed. It kind of has to do with you, with your delivery. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I again, I gotta, gotta mention my, my boy Mike because you know we we bounce things off of each other all the time. You know, we have that kind of relationship where it's like, if something's not hot, we're going to tell each other, no, that's, that's not hot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'll kind of feel the same way. And he'd be like, no, that was good. You know, I'm like, all right, cool. Sure. No problem. You know what I mean? Cause we're, I think yeah. that we're kind of our worst critics, you know what I'm saying? And, right. and we tend to like doubt our, I guess you can kind of say I doubt our skill for a particular moment that it's like, nah, I don't even want to mess with that anymore. They're like, nah, you better, you, you got to finish that, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. So it's it always there's always that balance, right? Yeah. Of like, how much do I? Because I'm going through the same thing. Uh, I've been working on a project with uh, my homie Promise. Mm -hmm. By far, like one of he'd be in my top five yeah. artists, MCs. If I didn't even know who he was, you know what I'm right. saying? So like, so I I admire his opinion and his skill, but like doing a, a group project with mm -hmm. him, it's always like, if you know some of the stuff, some of my favorite records, like he was like, ah, this isn't that great. Or, and, and vice versa, where I'm like, right. you know, some of his joints were like, this is a single. And it's like, so you're kind of like, it's like a tug of war. Like how right. much do I, you know, and as an artist, you know, you know, I, you said like, you, you want to like consider some of that, mm -hmm. you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like how much, how much do I consider in like to, to where it's like where I can improve my craft mm -hmm. and how much of it is just preference right. to where right. you gotta, cause you that's a trap. Right. Like you don't ever want to like yeah. just try to please everybody because it'll never happen. Right, right. Um, it's there's always right. this tug of war though, man. Yeah, pretty so. much, pretty much. So when you were talking about um, to kind of go back to the the original question, you were talking about when you were in high school. You mentioned something about like you know you would say that there's certain albums. Oh yeah, that album saved my life. So what would what would you say was one of the influences then at that time that made you feel like oh yeah okay I gotta I gotta start something you know. Um, so I guess it was all synonymous, but my, obviously there was a lot going on, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff going on in my childhood, which, you know, I, I, I'm not saying is unique to anybody. We all, right, right. you know, 
grew up in some you know unique circumstances but um so i'll say the albums man like some of my probably still to this day like one of the, my favorite albums of all time is uh most deaths black on both sides mm. yeah um it was man there, i mean there were so many like i was a I, like a big chino xl fan in high school i think that's where was like the right? punchline stuff comes from yeah. oh man here to save you all that that album yeah, yeah did yeah 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 for sure cassie's yo even like uh um, uptown saturday night from camp low like mm-hmm. i was listening to cats like my my circle like they would they would be trying to roast me for you know what i mean because they were always <laughs> like you know into the mainstream right, jay-z's right. nas you know mm-hmm. which i, I like too but i just right. there was you know i i don't know i don't know why certain certain things resonated with me though right um so i'll just i guess off the top of my head though i was a big 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 uh atmosphere fan um I, I, a lot of people he's like a legend in the underground um, oh, okay and m- most people still don't know who he is to this day but you know I he's kind of like the, <laughs> okay yeah, yeah yeah i don't know if you're familiar with um um you are you familiar with rhyme sayers sounds familiar yeah uh, kind of big like i don't say underground they're almost like Maybe not. They maybe they weren't ever as big as Ruckus, but like MF mm-hmm. Doom was on uh, Rhyme Sayers at the time that he passed. Um, okay. But like, mad respected, incredible right, right. artists, always been that way. But right. like, I'm we're talking about you know when we were downloading stuff on Napster and LimeWire and stuff right. like that. Uh, Fair share. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember. You remember like the Blaze battles and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, remember the cat named Idea? Um, yeah, uh, well, he spelled E Y E, didn't he? Yes, yes, yeah, he was yeah. on Rhyme Sayers. So to, I guess that to give you some context, like, yeah. like um, Slug, Slug, he's in a, a group with his producer named Atmosphere. Mm-hmm. But like, he's always been like, he's been like the Bizzle of how, what, what Bizzle oh, okay. is the God over money. Like he's yeah. always, but way bigger, way bigger. It's still, I'm, I think he has over a million followers, you know, right. today. But dude, it, it to me is <clears throat> criminally, um, criminally underrated in terms of like mm-hmm. even hip hop has not known. Like to me, I, really? I think he's he's a better storyteller than Nas. So, so like, wow. I'm, even explaining myself, I sound like I'm right, fanboying, right. but like, it's just, <laughs> but it was, we all got that one. You know, he, yeah. And bro, yo, he, he, he wasn't even like a, I would even consider Chino XL someone where I could be like, okay, he, you know, that here to save you all album that first, he had like a little, man, almost, I don't want to say like, I was going to say flash in the pan, but that, that would sound like hella negative. Right. Um, but by all standards, like, he was like kind of the trajectory was hot for a brief second. Then, Mm -hmm. you know, basically went back to, I would say slug has never would be like, wasn't like that at all. Like he's Mm -hmm. always had a huge following still does. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody dude's got to be in his mid forties or fifties at this point. And, you know, still has like this cult following. I just think it was same thing with me. You know what I'm saying? Like not to brag or it's just, it's just weird. Like by all standards, my platform is relatively small by, uh, you know most chh heads mm-hmm. but then every time you meet these guys and like the goats of chh like they're always saying oh you know that right, you know doing right. the same thing paying me respect or like you right. a legend you know i seen this one outlet put me in this top like 25 of all time and i i, uh, I don't say that the brag is just like right. as an artist again you're like yo i'm like i got fourteen thousand followers yeah. i'm like right. a nobody you know what i'm saying like right. in comparison to like you got your uh, craze and your nfs like right. these guys are putting up right. millies um, mm-hmm. I just think it's a, it was more of a product of like the timing, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. it's hard to gauge how, you know, and, and not to say that I've ever, that's, I've never done what I do. I do what I do. Cause I love it. You know, it's right, music, right. not because of how big my platform is and right. that won't change, but hopefully that makes sense what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Most definitely. Um, anyway. But yeah, that, that kind of makes me think of how, how it is when it, when it comes to ministry, you know what I mean? Like, do we really want to concentrate on, on the number of people that, that we save or just the fact that there is a number of people that we say or that got saved, you know what I mean? That we were, a yeah. Part of, yeah. you know what I mean? And that's kind of how, how I feel it should be, especially when it comes to the, the, the genre of music, you know, CHH as a whole, let alone gospel as a whole, you know what I mean? Has to be, that has to be the forefront, you know what I mean? Otherwise, what are you doing? It for? Sure. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah, one of yeah. the things that I've always loved about you guys. You know what I mean? Especially when I, when I first heard you, you know what I mean? I think um, I'm trying to remember the, the name of the song, but it was off of uh, Mark James. I mean, I, the, the whole entire thing, you know, I loved how you did the, uh, uh, the Vossi's radio show, basically the girl, the hiccup thing. That was. Okay. That, yeah. So it was part two. Yeah. Part two. Yeah. 
Man, so the, had to you follow know, up with something that. after Chris Broussard yeah. doing the first one. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh, but no, but to your point though, I agree. Like, sorry for yeah. the no, latency joint. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I thought it worked out well. Like the yeah. whole, um, you know, at the time he was doing that podcast or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, and it's and, and it's just one of those things where it's like you realize, okay, you know, this isn't just about craft. You know what I'm saying? Like the skill is there. You can't you can't deny. It. And and unfortunately though, if the skill is not there, because we I'm sure we both have heard a lot of people. It's like. Mm, I hear what you're saying, but the, but you're you're delivering it like you're you know, like you don't know how to deliver, or you're delivering it like you're pompous. Because I've seen a few of those too, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? But it's that it's that oh, same now vibe. more than ever, really. Yeah. Oh yeah. Most sure. Definitely. Sure. Sure. Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I I think yeah, especially what you're saying. I, I'm almost thinking it's like a good it's 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 good advice for even like in like people who aren't a part of the church mm -hmm. or you know like. Right. Like I always tell my, my daughter, like, you know, just do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life sort of thing. Right. right? Like, yeah. so on a very, but I do think there's like, it almost intensifies as a Christian. Cause it's like, mm -hmm. you know, that what you were saying about, you know, ministry that, that I hesitate to say that should always be the goal. I mean, because it's like, I want to be careful how I craft it. Like, right, right. you know, cause I don't think just because you don't do specifically Christian based music doesn't mean, I don't think that doesn't mean you can't love the lord you know like right, right. you could be writing scores for sesame street right, for all right. i know like you know what i'm saying yeah, like yeah yeah so there's a there's that aspect as well yeah. so mm -hmm. i just you know what i'm saying but you should um I, i'm actually uh have been talking to this uh producer cat mm -hmm. recently um where like he kind of i guess you know produced for some really big guys in the world mm -hmm. and uh you know came into it like some frustrations and actually like the way we started building was kind of like kind of came at me sideways like yo i guess i didn't respond to him in, in an right. adequate time and oh, wow. a lot of you know but and i was just kind of like <laughs> yeah it's funny but and i usually don't do this but kind of like mm -hmm. went back and forth with them and and uh and we we've, we've been building since then but I, I can understand the frustration of like right you know hey i've worked with xyz all these big name secular dudes but mm -hmm. i can't get anybody to um, you know, on the CHA side, and it's like, well, there's lots of variables, right? Like, it doesn't mean that right, right. they're arrogant or they're pompous or mm -hmm. there is an ego or a pride thing. Right. That is, that we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. bro, like m most people don't know. Like, bro, I, have, I, I, well, I have seven kids now, a full time job. Like, wow. you're not gonna win, and you know, I'm. You're not gonna convince me there's a man on this earth that's busier than me. And I'm not saying it. I'm just yeah, saying, right, like, right. <laughs> yeah. just to say if i'm trying my best to afford people grace like that first of right. all that's that's what god wants us to do like right, that's what right. you know god laid out what love is and giving the benefit of the doubt is a part of that right but right. long way of me saying to, to your point like bro we should we should be doing this with the intentions of like yo I, because we love to do it like i would yeah. do this um for free anyway right, right? so in that way and this this kind of what i was saying i, I i've been trying to tell like the, the producer dude you know like yo you you can't ha come into things with expectations because who's the one that does the exalting? First of all, like mm -hmm. I have no other way to explain what I see other than like, it's God who gives you the platform. That's why, yeah. bro, I literally was never trying to grind or, or I was always the dude who everyone looked at. Um, like I neglected my music gift mm -hmm. in my city while they, because I was trying to do what I thought God wanted me to do. And yet, right somehow I got miraculously signed to a, like, you know, what people would say a major label. Right. right um, right. and also to this day, I have like literally s s the, some of the most talented people I've ever met in my life that would run circles around me lyrically and all, all sorts of like, no one knows who they are. Mm. So it's like, you know, as an mm. artist, you're always like, yo, if my platform is never as big as a Lecrae or even anyone for that matter, uh, bizzles, does that mean I was not doing what I was supposed to do? Like, right, I don't right. necessarily think that's the, the case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I it's, but when you go into it, like, because you love to do it and with the right, like, hey, I just want to serve the Lord with my gifts sort of thing. Like, that strips away all those expectations. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of where, you know, we all we all kind of probably we don't no one's perfect. We don't do it executed perfectly, right. but it's, it's yeah. something that we should be within the church. Like you said, man, like, yeah, you would, yeah, you would think we would be more aware of that than than anyone. But. Well, I think that's the thing. I think we we are. I think I, I think as a whole, the church body is aware of it. But it's it's that that point where it comes to where it's like, okay, we don't really want to admit that. 
because then you know it's like it's like our, our, our flesh mindset comes in it's like well you know i mean we're, we're we can be prideful like from jump you know what i mean so that yeah, comes yeah. in and it makes us feel like okay well how come this isn't like this well god you said that you was going to do okay well god didn't tell you that it was going to be a thousand or a hundred so how about you just right. go forth, do what you got to do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then whatever comes will come, you know what I mean? And I think that's something that is just hard for people to deal with because they might be doing it for the wrong reasons or because they're, they're just looking at it as like, well, you know, my skill level, you know, and they start popping their collar and it's like, wait a minute, hold on, you got, you got to slow, slow your roll. <laughs> but it happens, sure, you know what I'm saying? Sure, sure, sure. You know, the one thing I want to say more, about- More uh, so now than ever. Yeah, most definitely. The one thing I want to say about about burn it down. Yeah, so I got up on my grizzly and he put this fire in me. Now I'm really about to burn it down. Burn it down. Burn it down. Put this fire in me. I'ma burn it down. Burn it down. Burn it down. Put this fire in me. I'ma burn it down. Yeah. Play the game like he designed it. Some, sometimes I'm I'm like intently listening to songs to um to kind of see if there's a line better than the last that I heard, right? But from the gate, from the gate, that uh, that Rocky reference. Beat the flesh like I'm Rocky in the cooler. Trying to win it all. That's what I be in pursuit of. Try me like a loser. When it's said and done. Man, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> like you had to bust I it out. I had no idea what gate. you were about to say, by the way. <laughs> yeah, man. Nice. I mean, it's, maybe I should uh, you reuse that. <laughs> right, right, man. And and it's it's such a the the cool thing about it that I liked was that you know the, being a Rocky reference is like okay, who doesn't know about Rocky? You know what I mean? But now bringing it to right, the, right to the forefront of on the lines of looking at it from a Christian mindset. It's like, yeah, I mean, shoot, we, we got we to gotta die daily. So it, it is a fight. And some people don't realize that it's a fight. You know what I'm saying? And just the whole entire song itself, you know, just, as a matter of fact, let me, let me ask you for, from, from your standpoint, what, what message did you really want to get out with that particular song? So, like I was, uh, like I was saying, uh, I don't know if like that part will air, but like prior, like my mindset approaching all of those records that I did in that space were was entirely different than I would do. Like, you know, because when you're when you're you're in that space, like I may have reused punchlines or you know, not saying like the writing was like super lazy, but it was just like right, right. you know when you when you're writing stuff that's supposed to be just like more like I don't mm. say vaguely inspirational, and you know the, the right, idea right. is like you know maybe movie trailers or sports right, center right. like sports things like it it wasn't uh -huh. like it, it was more um I, I would like to say there was more thought you know deep thought but it probably wasn't you know what i'm saying i probably didn't put that much thought <laughs> into it but ironically oh, I got you. even though i had literally no idea what you were about to say because i don't remember anything about yeah. that record i haven't listened to it in a long time uh -huh. um oh, okay. didn't know it was even going to come out but um yeah. I just said something very similar in a record that I just finished up a couple weeks ago. Um, it, the mm -hmm. record was called Words to Remember. I was basically writing it to my kids. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I wrote a similar line, not the Rocky reference, but comparing life to a, you know, a boxing match or a fight. Like, yo, right. it's, it, right. that, it, what, what you said, a fight is exactly what it is, man. It's like, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not going to, we can't just, you know, just like the, the, the rappers we were just talking about are, people you can't go into it with the expectations it's all going to be rosy or things are going to go your way yeah. like it is going to beat the snot out of you at times um yeah. and almost like you know for for me it, you know there's been you know uh pl plenty of times where it's like there's no way that one man should have all this happen to him you know some job stuff type of thing you know right. um, not saying that's been my mindset but even like the people right. around me that's something that i've heard um but you right. gotta uh, keep fighting really you know what i'm saying yeah. um you know because yeah. that's when you you don't lose until you give up really you know um, right right and you know everybody right. has different thresholds right you know like god clearly gave job a different threshold of pain and uh oh, tolerate you know um bro if i were to it's funny because being introduced like with my first album and being pain in paragraphs i feel like so much of my content especially with gmm has been like that night and day for my content prior to that like but now i'm kind of like mm -hmm. i'm known as uh and not saying like i deserve all the credit but like at the time like there wasn't 
really many people actually i don't i didn't know of many like anybody like the, in christian hip-hop that was putting out music that was like transparent you know and it wasn't because i was trying to do something different it was just because like with my right, right. conscious personally it was like i can't write unless i tell the truth and i was like right. yo i'm drinking all the time i'm sleeping around i just got mm. divorced you know what i'm saying i was just like this is right. all i can talk about not i'm not saying it's right and i don't right. want people to get that message but um, right, right. And now, you know, you see more people doing it, which I think is a good thing. Not to say you should glorify it, but yeah. I don't know, man. Um, I'm, I kinda, yeah, I think if you understand. The... Oh, I'm no, sorry, you go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you got I, think, I think it's one of those things where we have to realize that our testimony is big. You know what I mean? And if it means we got to, you know, 100%. Push our pride back and our ego back and say, you know what? Let, let me just go ahead and, and say exactly what's real. You know, because uh, if I don't say it, then I'm giving the wrong impression. You know what I'm saying? Or right. I'm, I'm making it right. seem like like I'm I'm not going through anything. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of people do. You know, on social media now. You know what I'm saying? They 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 make it seem like something is more perfect than it actually is. And unfortunately, you know, you you don't know what what anybody's going through. You know what I mean? But the the fact that you were able to recognize that and realize, okay, yeah, this is what I'm going to have to do because it was it was a lot of pain. It was a lot of this. It was a lot of that. Going through half of what you went through probably would have made somebody else buckle. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that God was your strength and allowed you to be able to come up over that and get to the other side. And not to say that you don't have problems now, but, you know, you might look back at it like, oh, man, I'm glad I, I don't have that problem no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, uh, even, even I would say almost like, I'm almost ashamed that God wasn't my strength in those times. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, because mm. I've seen cats, um, you know, one of my closest friends, like Dayton, go through yes. the same thing, but Man, handled right. it how I feel like he was, he set an example of like how to healthy, yeah. in a healthy manner, walk through those things. So in a lot of yeah. ways, like not to like try to be, you know, contrary to your point, like, but yo, All I right. was, but what you said the first time, like the testimony thing, that's what I was even more blown away by was um, the the responses was kind of like cats were just like, yo, thanks. You know, still to this day, you know, they'll come up to me after shows and stuff and just thank me for just speaking honestly about it. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I guess mm -hmm. that uh, somebody said something along the lines of like some of the most comforting words you could ever hear is me too kind of thing. Um, this was prior yeah. to the whole Me Too movement, the but Me just kind of like, yo, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I get what you're going through. Man, um, so you said you were working on some some new some new stuff. So when when can we expect some uh, some of that to come out? Yeah, yeah. So man, God willing, bro, um, it should be a busy year for me. So um, real soon, I'm sure we'll, we'll I'll have some sort of announcement within the next month. Awesome. Um, I'll have a like a full length like album from gom you know nice. um on, on that side of things and even you know the powers that be kind of what like uh like i said in one of my last ig posts like i i started writing trying to just finish one album mm -hmm. and it kind of turned into like yo we have enough for two now you know whether that right. turns into another album or an right, ep right. i don't know um and then you know um did a lot of work this past year and, mm -hmm. and recently with like uh our we got a gom project but you know what i'm saying it seems to um be coming to fruition and wow. uh, i'm excited man you know that's awesome. i'm excited that's awesome well yeah. i for one can't wait man i can't wait yeah i appreciate it man yeah man right back at you well i appreciate you you know i mean you spent a little more time with me than than, than you allotted and I, I i appreciate that most definitely um Everyone else out there, you know, make sure that you uh, go get everything that he has out there right now. Bumps Inf. Again, I appreciate your, your time and all that. If there's anything at all that you ever need from me, let me know, man. I appreciate it, brother, man. Thank you for having me, though, bro. Honored, right. bro. All right, man. Have a good one. <laughs>